Hello everyone, today we're going to install a powerful AI on a Raspberry Pi. And this powerful AI usually requires clusters of servers to compute. Big data centers. But today we're going to fit it into a Raspberry Pi. And you question, how are you going to do this? It's impossible. Because ChatGPT has have huge data centers to compute its prompts. No, you can do it on a Raspberry Pi. Because there is an open source model AI software from Meta slash Facebook that allows you to run powerful AI on regular PCs without a powerful GPU, without a powerful CPU, and this Raspberry Pi only has eight gigabytes of RAM. So once we're done installing this powerful AI onto this Raspberry Pi, we're then going to integrate it with Node-RED. We're gonna build a, an API server in Node-RED. So the goal today is, and after that powerful API server is built, we're then going to try to send a response to the, the API server. The API server is going to send a response to Olama to, to get the AA prompt, and we're gonna it's gonna send back to my laptop. Alright, that's the plan. Let's get started, guys. Woohoo! Alright, now we're gonna SSH into my Raspberry Pi. You can see that the name switch from Kevin Pop West to now Kevin Raspberry Pi. So we're SSH into my Raspberry Pi. Alright. So we're going to do sudo update. Let's update the Raspberry Pi. And then you're going to go to Olama right here. Just go on the website, olama.com. And then you're going to go to downloads and it detect that I'm using Linux because the Raspberry Pi is Linux. Make sure you copy this. Paste it. It's going to install Llama. Oh. Just wait for it. Um, so it has created the services and it gives you a warning. No NVIDIA, AMD, or GPU detected. So these all llamas will be computing in CPU mode only. All right. So we got Olama installed. Now, it creates the system D services. So just copy this pseudo system oh, status Olama service. And you can see that Olama is running. All right. All right. It's running as a service. So what we're going to do next is now we're going to install Node Red. So what you do is you go to the Node Red site, running Node Red on a Raspberry Pi. Go here, copy the Bash script. All right. Oops. Okay. Copy and paste. All right. Oh, bash is not. Yes. Yes. Do you want to set up security? No. So project features. Uh, I 
actually sure manual uh, default default yes all right and then you're gonna go to check if the node rest service is up it did create the system D service so we are going to enable it enable the node red service and status oh then we have to start it and then you're going to go to do check the status node red is up as you go here this is the ip2 my raspberry pi why we don't see it oh we have to open the port so you're going to open up port allow 1880 so that way we can see it on the browser and so sudo uf allow so refresh and node red is loaded awesome Okay, and then we're going to go back to Olama and we're going to get the model. So we're going to choose our models and we're, we're going to install Tiny Llama, which is suitable for the Raspberry Pi. Tiny Llama is only 700 megabytes LLM. So the LLM is only 700 megabytes. Just copy this and paste it and installing the LLM oh it's actually just actually 37 megabytes not 700 all right it's installing takes some time stretch my back a little bit and we're going to ask see see we are in the ai in the terminal so we're going to ask what color is the sky and it's going to prompt you response the color of the sky varies depending on the day and weather conditions blah 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 All right, it's prompting the response. It's a bit long. Uh, I'm just going to, to exit, you just type slash by and I'm back in. All right, so we have our um, AI software, Olama, and we have our model Tiny Llama. Now let's build our API server. And to do that, it'll be real easy. Just go to my GitHub account. I'm gonna leave the link below. And I'm going to go to Olama Node Red API server. And I'm going to, to install this one. Olama API, Olama Response API, Olama Server JSON. This one here does not um, have a response. It writes it to a file instead, and then you have to use the get command to get the response, the prompt response. Okay. I'm just going to copy and paste this. This 
this code. You could also import it. I'm just going to copy and paste it. Copy, paste, llama response API JSON. This is the code for the server. And I'm just going to go to import here, paste it. As you can see over here, it has been created. So what's happening is I send a post request, it gets the, the question gets prompted, the question is prompted from the, the post, and then it sends an HTTP request to the Olama API, and then it parses the JSON or the message it sends back because it sends back a lot of code and you have to like decode it. And then it sends the response back to my PC. So we're gonna just deploy it. All right. Now we're gonna go to the my Python program, which is on my laptop. Right here, I'm back in my laptop environment. And we're just gonna open up the code. We're just going to show you guys the code that I use to uh, ping the API server, Node Red API server. So, API. All right. Yeah. You can see it. This is the IP address, and it's asked what color is the sky. This is the payload. The payload has the prompt in there. The content type is application JSON, and it posts to Olama. All right, let's see, we get a response back. All right, it's processing, it's gonna take some time. We could go back into Node-RED, it's sending the request. right now to the uh, Olama API. So it's going to take some time. You can see it. And ta-da! It responded back into, it sent the, the message back to my laptop from the Raspberry Pi server. And we got a prompt. All right. Thank you for watching my video. Also, once it's parsed, you could you, you don't have to use the response. You can modify the code to make it do whatever you want in Node-RED. So you could use the code. You could modify it. You can make it integrate with MQTT or whatever logic you want to do in Node-RED. All right. Thank you for watching my video. And make sure to subscribe. Woohoo!